QNED is back in 2024. I had hands-on time with the QNED 90T and I was extremely impressed. Up next. Like many of you, I am very glad that LG has now revisited Mini LED and has now shown a renewed commitment to the technology, which was very promising just a few years ago. Now, while they had some QNEDs last year, a lot of this lineup is brand new from entry to high end to a massive size. Today, I had hands on time with the 65 inch QNED 90T. Let's check it out. I was very impressed with it, as I just mentioned. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. guys let's do it lg qned 90t mini led 65 inches quick look at the build quality and design it is mini led it's a little more thick than a direct lit or edge lit you have four hdmi 2.1 120 hertz panel FreeSync premium gaming this sits at the top of the QNED lineup. Below it would be the 80, 60 hertz, 85, upgraded to 120. Then you have this 90, which is the entry to mini LED. Then there is an 8K 99. Then there is a massive 98 inch 89T. The 89T is not mini LED, but does have the precision dimming. This QNED 90, does have the precision dimming the local dimming is excellent now i'll return to the settings momentarily just going through what it ships in very colorful very saturated but with the different presets it's going to look very natural now again we have the alpha 8 processor which has been updated and tweaked now while it's not the same as the alpha 11 it has changed in regards to the settings. The settings do match the uh, Gen 11 processor, meaning the professional dynamic tone mapping setting. The AI settings are here as well. So it hasn't been left behind. The interface is the same. WebOS has been tweaked and changed. But we'll do more of that deep dive when I get the display. This is more of a quick hands-on. And this video is really more about showing you the local dimming in both a bright and dark room. We're going to move into our good friend Jennifer Gala and her second channel, HCR Super Channel. Check out Jen. The reason why I use this demo is the aggressive or wide aspect ratio for black bars. We're now in Cinema Home. I'll jump around the presets. You can see how snappy... Um, everything is moves very quickly and even as we jump around the presets the black bars remain black local dimming is on high I'll revisit these settings in a moment but I like this demo for that reason to be able to see if the black bars remain black again you're better off dead center but the precision dimming is on point it does its job even off angle We'll come back to black level shortly. Quickly, I want to jump into this vivid setting that a lot of you like, vivid and standard. We'll go from filmmaker mode all the way up to see how bright and saturated the image can get. For me, it's all about flexibility of image, and that's what LG is doing this year. Accuracy, as well as fun modes for you guys that want to get out of that. You want the director's intent, you want cinema, you want game, but you can see even as I wander around, the image changes drastically. Flexibility of image is very important and LG is doing that from top to bottom this year. 
The TV is your own, do what you like with it, but it has to be flexible. As I mentioned in the intro, QNED was something I was very excited about a few years ago. It had an excellent first effort that year and then kind of vanished. They had some carryover models last year. The 90 is a successor to the 85, but it's a fresh group this year, which is so important. But I do like to showcase vivid and standard for many of you that like that bright, punchy, uh, dynamic color and clarity. Now the way LG handles its own demo here, again, we are in a dark room right now. The blooming is definitely minimized and it kind of spreads itself out to where it doesn't look like it's blooming at all. But what it does, is it brightens the whole area, but it doesn't look like blooming. It actually makes it look like the whole image is a little lighter, but not lifted blacks. It's hard to explain. But what you see here is what I see. Very subtle halos around the image. This is not an OLED. This is a mini LED. And LG's processor is on point with the 11, the updated 9, but this is the 8. But I've been assured by engineering that each one of them has been updated and tweaked and improved. And having a new UI, a, a new way to go through the settings, shows me that they're not just importing old stuff over, which you'll see in the presets in a little while. These are not easy demos for any mini LED. Very clear image. It does a great job with the transitions. But for me, as I mentioned in my interview with Greg Lee, and I've talked about with LG last year, the G3 took the world by storm and then they kind of went quiet. Having the QNED help bridge that gap, having mini LEDs in their arsenal, from 60 hertz to 120 LEDs to mini LED to a massive direct lit LED with precision dimming is going to carry them through. I'll be covering them more thoroughly this year. I will do the C4, the B4, and the QNED lineup. Things are transitioning to large mini LEDs and LG is there. They also showed in the demo uh, material, which I can't show, they did show, there was a black frame insertion clear that they added. I wasn't able to try that here, but it definitely kept the flicker down. It didn't even lower the brightness that much, and it was very effective when doing panning and fast motion shots if you wanted to use that. Now it's very hard for a QNED to hang in there when there's the top OLEDs in the world in the room, but it still looked fantastic. Now we're in brighter presets through a lot of this. We're pretty much in their standard preset. We jump into cinema here and there. We'll jump back into filmmaker mode. Now, what are your thoughts on mini led are you happy that their renewed commitment back to it are you excited to see it now we're going to jump into the settings now as i'm describing the qned to you i have no literature we haven't received that yet so i'm just going through and showing you this I'm not reading specs to you this is just the information that i have even from my interview with greg Going through the presets one by one. Again, WebOS and the settings are very snappy and responsive. And again, showing you flexibility of image. How does the image look in each preset? I feel that every preset is very valuable. WebOS has other options, talking to the remote, getting to a different preset if you're someone who doesn't know TVs well. And even though the image is very bright, as I leave you here in cinema, it never really looks washed out in person. 
you see the local dimming there much more effective obviously at high i'll show you that again in a darker scene going to dynamic tone mapping if you disable it there's also a professional tone mapping where you can control the curve which is a cool feature i think a lot of you will use as the year goes on if you're dealing with 4000 nit content making sure things don't clip you can pick the ceiling very cool feature to add And the interface looks very much like the G4. Very flexible image. Now I'm guessing that we'll have a Dolby Vision filmmaker mode here as well. But can't confirm that 100%. What LG is great for is one of the best Dolby Vision implementations in the business. They've had a long relationship with them, as well as I say uh, many times is flexibility of image. How much can you change the image? There you have the personalized picture wizard still there. Image is a little crooked. Somebody kicked my tripod, probably me. But it's a very clean. Motion is very good. Again, keeping things pretty much out of the box. I didn't want to mess with it too much in case a journalist or somebody else from the media was going to come in and change it or needed it back to its preset. But I was definitely honored to be there, invited to LG's headquarters. I've been wanting to go there for many, many years. Shout out to Don, shout out to Greg, shout out to Chris, David, the engineering team. It was great to be there. G4 was mind-blowing. I spent some time with the C4, but actually really wanted to see the QNEDs this year. As impressive as the LG's MLA lineup is, you have to have that versatile attack. You have to have many LEDs in your arsenal, at least these days. I think they've succeeded with that here. Very vibrant, very beautiful, deep blacks, which is most important anytime you're dealing with mini LED. You can see it there. Beautiful. What was most impressive, again, is the local dimming. I apologize. I understand you're hearing a lot of ambient noise from my hotel room. I'm actually on the road. I am in L.A. So I apologize for the audio as you're picking up the AC in my room and the ambient noise in the area. Quickly gonna pause this image here and go through again the presets, show you how the local dimming works and how much it changes. Obviously, filmmaker mode, um, it's the best there, You, but not afraid to bring the TV brighter and brighter to show you how the local dimming either does well or falls apart, and it actually hangs in there. But you can see how it changes the depth of the image, whether it washes it out or gives you more depth. You see how the accuracy comes back. It looks more real. Now you're looking more like a Sprite commercial. <laughs> but showing you that flexibility of image. How false do you want it to look? How real do you want it to look? Very important. I'll definitely look to have Greg Lee, who is their head product trainer. He's a senior product trainer. Come back on and go through the... Q NED lineup with a fine tooth comb and really discuss it. And I'll show you how it affects the local dimming as you shut it off. I've never seen that before where it says current option may affect energy consumption. Now off angle, the local dimming off. There you go. You can see a big difference. Just on low and then medium makes a massive difference to the image. You have to hit it to engage, which it will in a moment. But it looks really good. 
You'll see me move off angle quickly here to show you. That's not bad at all. Now moving into, again, Jennifer Gala. This is a very tough demo for shadow detail. Though I would argue that this image looks more natural than it did on the G4. Again, it's all about the preset that you're in. But this is not an easy demo as the makeup goes on and off. Now, some of the footage was in a brighter room. I'd rather have stayed there for a little bit, but then we had to turn the lights off. And going with different kinds of content throughout the video, just to show you the different presets and different kinds of content. But if you like that vivid, you like that standard preset, it's excellent on the QNED 90. See. Very colorful, very saturated, but also can be brought back to natural, brought back to center when needed. Director's intent. And I believe you can see in that preset, you can save one of those to that professional tone mapping. And just going through the settings and showing you what each setting kind of does. And there's that professional setting again. This time at least enabling it, but there are many cool things you can do with it. I think a lot of you guys will use that throughout the year. Though the dynamic tone mapping on LG is awesome. very colorful and a lot of times with LG settings bringing them just warmer even the more dynamic settings can look better just brought more warm obviously they're very cold out of the box but for me for a first look I was very impressed It is excellent, very clear, and the local dimming is just on point, which is all you really want from mini LEDs. Good motion, good brightness, good saturation, and more importantly, great blacks. my camera was straight in this but I must have bumped into the tripod I could crop it but then you lose the edges and the motion very very smooth all right guys let me know what you think for this first quick look at the QNED 90T mini LED what you think of it let me know what you think in the comments again I'm super impressed with it Really beautiful. Great colors. And more importantly, clear. Definitely exciting addition to LG's lineup to again carry them throughout the year. Great specular highlights, very bright. All right, guys, I am Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the QNED 90T Mini LED. Love you guys. I will see you in the comments. Take care.